really should be making my wraps instead of eating cookies for lunch. I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna eat cookies. It's the Peter Pan life, you know? That's the water source. But to make sure I get all my nutritional needs, I'll take my multivitamin and my supplements. And 10 milligrams of THC, you know, just for fun. <laughs> yep, public water. Love you. Water is getting a little more valuable now that it's hot and I'm sweating a bunch. I am drinking more today, though, not just because of the heat, but because I drank about a liter of whiskey in town. That'll dehydrate you. All right, lunch and dinner for the next few days is tortillas, some deli shaved turkey breast, shaved ham, simply because the ham was cheaper and gives you an extra ounce, and whoops, I think a Philadelphia cream cheese. So normally I'd break this up into eight wraps, but because I only have like 34 miles of this trail to do, I'm just going to do five. Spread it. Oh yeah, spread it, baby. Try not to get too much grass in your food. A bit of ham. A little bit of ham. And a little bit of turkey. Just fucking roll it. It's a wrap. Boom. Boom. It's a wrap. Bake four more. This is my lunch and dinner for a couple of days. I don't like when the meat overlaps on the tortilla. I was sloppy because I was trying to hurry for the camera. Anyway, that's lunch and dinner for the next couple of days. There we have the other four besides the one I'm eating. Take all these wraps, take out the sticks. I always end up eating sticks. This is why you're supposed to do this in town, but uh, I was drinking too much. Let's stick these right back in here. <laughs> Now I have a giant sack of pre-made turkey and ham wraps for the next couple of days. Yeah. It works better when you have one of those resealable tortilla bags. I'm pretty sure that that is Spiller's Peak, and that is where I'm headed for today. I'm going to try and camp there tonight, and then finish the Arizona Trail tomorrow. I said I was going to hike to Miller's Peak and camp for the night. Probably finish tomorrow. See, my last name's Miller. I don't know how many of you know that, but 
Miller's Peak was interesting. I was going to go there on my birthday. That was the original plan. Camp on Miller's Peak and be like, ha ha, it's Miller's Peak. That's pretty fucking depressing. To think that this is my peak. That's all downhill from here. And now here I am. 20 miles to go. And I want to avoid it. I want to go around. It's not my peak. I haven't peaked. I haven't peaked. It's not my time. I got so angry at this idea that my life had peaked. I started running. I didn't care that I was out of water. I didn't care that it was the middle of the day, that I was carrying a 30 pound pack on my back. I ran and ran and I'm not tired. I didn't feel any of it. Just pissed off angry. <laughs> it's like a superpower. Then I came across this. This is a river which runs off of Miller's Peak. Down here to where I am, not at the peak. <laughs> Somewhere down below, trying to get to the terminus and end my hike a day earlier for no reason whatsoever. There is the border monument, and I made it to the southern terminus. And screw portion control, I brought my mallow cup for the end. I'm so excited to eat this thing. I have not had a mallow cup in like two years. Man. Yeah, <laughs> 